By 2025, the International Energy Agency predicts the U.S. will be producing more than 1 trillion cubic meters of natural gas a year, almost double its production back in 2000. Natural gas being used in power generation today is the reason why you know, the U.S. is reducing carbon emissions when other countries across the globe are increasing carbon emissions. To unleash the full power of the federal government in this effort today, I am officially declaring a national emergency. Coronavirus pandemic is putting an end to the longest economic expansion in U.S. history. We are going into a global recession. Recession uh, in the next quarter or two because everything is shutting down, of course. Cabot Oil and Gas delivered 100 gallons of hand sanitizer to the food bank in Pittston. It'll be put to good use. Volunteers will need them during Weinberg's upcoming food drives. The EQT Foundation recently donated $50,000. This gift will allow more grants to be made to organizations performing critical work in the Ohio Valley. Affordable and abundant natural gas is absolutely critical to keeping the lights on, keeping the power on. Um, you know, certainly thank all those workers that are working in those essential services that continue to provide provide those type of things, but also in the, in the emergency rooms, when you look at a ventilator or an IV drip or surgical gloves or masks, uh, those items and you know, and 80 to 90 percent of our medications all manufactured through the use of natural gas. Pipeline investment programs will benefit Lancaster, Dolphin and Cumberland counties with nearly $2 million worth of projects approved in those three areas. The grants will go to providing natural gas access in parts of Manham Township, Lower Swatera Township and Mechanicsburg. Commissioners cut the ribbon for the Eden Road Bridge. Repairs cost $4 million, but most of that money came from taxes associated with Marcella Shale drilling. Drilled 677 wells last year, had over 19,000 inspections. We're proud of the fact that we hit a 98% compliance rate, but we're not going to be happy until that's 100%. For my eighth grade project, I had to pick any topic and I chose natural gas because they didn't know that these types of jobs were available. I know for sure I want to go into STEM. Well, the best part about this industry is you have an opportunity for people for high school degrees all the way through PhDs. Marcella Shell Coalition President David Spiegelmeyer says there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Well, we've seen a downturn in the upstream jobs, meaning the people that are drilling for natural gas, the benefits of that supply here in Pennsylvania are now re are reaping huge rewards for our Commonwealth. It's a very exciting time to be in the natural gas business. We're looking at natural gas demand exploding all around the world as we move past the pandemic. And uh, the United States is going to be a major player. How important is natural gas to Allegheny County? It's huge. In western Pennsylvania, Natural gas is king. The natural gas industry put this area on the map. Fracking, or the drilling for natural gas in shale rock, has transformed the economic landscape of this area. It's really a huge economic opportunity for us. You know, here in western Pennsylvania, natural gas drilling is still very prominent. It is very hard to exaggerate how good natural gas has been for our economy, for employment, for consumers, for families. In, in our state, uh, fracking not only provides an opportunity for job growth and continued stability in the job market and a lot of employment, but it also makes us less dependent on uh, Middle East oil. This work at range is not only important to Pennsylvania, it's important to the nation. We all depend upon the production of this natural gas. We have the largest natural uh, gas reserve. We got coal. We can be doing it right here and we can do it environmentally friendly. These are environmentally sound, environmentally sensitive facilities. They're about jobs and protecting the environment. That's not mutually exclusive. You can do both. You can be stewards of the environment and support investments in good paying jobs. We've seen the economic revival N not in spite of natural gas, but because of natural gas. We've got the most affordable energy on the planet here in Pennsylvania, and it's going to drive new manufacturing broadly, not just here in western Pennsylvania, but across this entire region. 